What's up, folks? It's your buddy Fatal Ready. Today we're going to be doing the SmackDown review. We got Daniel Bryan coming out at the beginning of the show. He says, due to the actions of Dolph Ziggler, that he relinquished his claim on the U.S. title and that there will be a tournament to decide who the new United States champion will be. Then Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin come out. They're asking about the situation with the tag titles, saying they were never given a straight shot, being that their last attempt at the belts was a fatal four-way tag match at Clash of Champions. Then Rusev and Aiden English come out. They cut a promo about the belts. And then the New Day come out, cut their promo about the belts. Xavier Woods saying all these teams are wasting their time. Correction, this whole bit is wasting time. This all culminates in Daniel Bryan setting up a triple threat match for a number one contender for the tag titles. Rusev and Aiden English, The New Day, and Shelton Benjamin and Chad Gable. The Usos come out, and they're sitting at the announcer's table. Right at the start of the match, there was a brawl from everybody. There were some pretty nice combos going on between The New Day and Shelton Benjamin and Chad Gable. Rusev got Gable and Xavier Woods at the same time in the Acolyte, but later Chad Gable got the pin on Big E after Shelton Benjamin set him up for the Doomsday Device. So Shelton Benjamin and Chad Gable are now the number one contenders for the SmackDown Tag Titles. Like I said, this was a pretty good match. It is, however, sad to see the same two or three teams involved in the same story when we have about the same number of tag teams left in the division that we barely ever see going anywhere near the belts. Speaking of other tag teams that we haven't seen going towards the belts, we have Brizongo going against the Bludgeon Brothers. Again, apparently this match was set up by the Ascension. And once again, we got a squash match. The Bludgeon Brothers beat the hell out of Brizongo. This ended as a disqualification, though, because the Ascension came out and attacked the Bludgeon Brothers and carried off Fandango and Tyler Breeze. It's found out later that we're going to have another rematch between Brizongo and the Bludgeon Brothers. What the fuck? Why? Bruh. We're going to dig this one straight into the ground. Good way to start 2018. We then have Ruby Riot versus Naomi. This was a quick match. Due to interference from the other members of the Riot Squad, Ruby Riot was able to get the Riot Kick on Naomi for the pin. After the match, the Riot Squad started to beat up on Naomi. Charlotte Flair came out to save her. She got beat up herself. And then the welcoming committee, comprised of Tamina, Natalia, Lana, and Carmella, come out, get into the ring, and the Riot Squad back down. As they're trying to go up the ramp, the welcoming committee jump out of the ring and beat up the Riot Squad. We then have our first match in the United States Championship Tournament, Bobby Roode versus Baron Corbin. This is actually a pretty good match. There was a lot of back and forth between Corbin and Rude, a lot of near falls, but Bobby Rude was able to roll up Baron Corbin for the pin. So he moves on in the tournament. We then have match number two in the tournament, Jinder Mahal versus Ty Dillinger. We haven't seen Dillinger in quite some time. This is actually a pretty decent match. It was looking like Ty Dillinger was actually going to win this one, but after a coloss from Jinder Mahal, he got the pin. So Jinder Mahal moves up in the tournament. I was actually surprised that the Singh brothers didn't have any interference in this match. I think this is one of the few times Jinder Mahal actually won clean. We then have our main event, Kevin Owens versus AJ Styles. This here was another decent match. I was actually surprised. They let this match go for a pretty long time. I think it started somewhere around 940, and I was sitting there thinking that something was going to happen that was going to cut it short, but they let it go. After a good bit of back and forth between Styles and Owens, Sami Zayn got his nose into the match, started to interfere, then Shane McMahon comes out to tell the referee to eject Sami Zayn. As all that's going on, AJ Styles rolls up Kevin Owens, the referee is distracted, doesn't get the pin. As AJ Styles gets up to ask what the hell to the referee, Kevin Owens rolls up AJ Styles for the pin. As Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens are celebrating at ringside, AJ Styles is walking up the ramp and gives a rather nasty look to Shane McMahon as he's walking by. And with that, we close tonight's SmackDown. This is actually the last SmackDown of 2017, and this is actually a pretty good SmackDown. Outside of the triple threat tag match, I really couldn't see much wrong with tonight. So hopefully we can follow this momentum on to 2018 and have a good year for SmackDown. But I'll do it for this episode of SmackDown Review. Leave a comment down below what you thought of tonight's SmackDown, what you thought of this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. I've been Fatal Rody. You've been awesome. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, if it's too loud, you're too old. See ya.